like everybody else, we've got a, either one minute or two minute. Who are, who are some difficult industries that you're stressed about writing for or find difficult? Give me some examples and we'll try to incorporate. Yeah. Oh, the government. They're the worst. You know, if only we made America great again, then things would be better. Sorry, was that political? No. Okay, government, that's a great example. Any other difficult to write for topics? Home inspectors? Okay. What, what's difficult about home inspection? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, I, I, I don't have a home inspection client, but I've, I've dealt with that before, so or similar things. You got a home inspection, I'm sorry, another home inspection client? Yeah. Okay. Writing for limousines. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Any boring topics? Those were all kind of scintillating. Yeah. No branding done? Okay, okay, okay. Well, yeah, yeah. 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 And we'll see if we can incorporate these. All right. I don't need an introduction. Hi, I'm David. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. I've been called a lot worse. Yeah, no, my name is David Zimmerman. I uh, own a little marketing consultancy called Reliable Acorn in, out of Charlotte. And I appreciate you guys bringing me here to talk today. This is actually a continuation of my talk last year, which was kind of about technical SEO. And everyone wanted to know about content, so I decided I'd bring a content talk this time. And I'm sure you'll have a lot of technical questions at the end of that, so maybe next year I'll come with a technical. Anyway, no. Uh, I love doing SEO. I've been doing it for maybe 10 years or so now. Uh, four years ago, I went on my own, started my own little thing, and that's Reliable Acorn. But uh, feel free to tweet me. I'm still on the Twitters. Uh, I'd love to, to reach out. Um, I, this kind of topic got started because I was at an agency, and it was a real challenge to write for some of my clients. Um, I don't write, but I would often assign out topics to writers to write. Um, it just takes me a long time to write, so it's probably better for some of you writers to write than me. But even my writers were, would be stumped, what the heck should we write? And if you know anything about SEO, you've probably heard how important good content is for an SEO campaign, right? Google is about the words, and if you want to be found on Google, we have to use them. Now, content could technically be about a lot more than words, but I'm going to be talking about the words today, not about video, not about images. A lot of great people around here have been talking about that this weekend. I'm going to focus on the words. But if we want good content, we really got to start by asking ourselves, well, what, what, what is good? You know, uh, oftentimes people ask me, David, is it good for SEO? I don't know how to answer that question because I don't know what good is. Uh, one of my friends kind of, as I was rambling one day about how frustrating it is when someone asked me, is it good for SEO? She asked, well, what, you know, what do they really mean when they ask by that? And oftentimes, when someone asks if something is good for SEO, they're saying, does it rank? And, you know, rank is, is a great thing. But is that really what you want? Because theoretically, we could think of any number of terms for which you might be able to rank. But rank doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get a visitor for it. Because just because you think of a term doesn't mean anybody else in the universe is thinking of this term right now, right? So rank isn't the end goal of good content. We want rank that generates traffic because people are searching for it. But we could think of any number of phrases that bring in traffic 
And that n doesn't necessarily help our, our website or our clients. Because just because it brings in traffic doesn't mean it's bringing in customers. So what we have to say is good content accomplishes its purpose. What do we want the traffic to do when it comes to our site? And, and that can be varied based on the type of content you're producing. If you're writing a blog post, you might have a different purpose you want to accomplish than if you're writing a landing page, for example, right? A landing page, the purpose, that what you hope to accomplish is someone landing on a page talking about a service or a product that you offer, is that they become a customer. They contact you through your lead form. They call you over the phone. You want the purpose of that landing page to bring in the customer. So don't be distracted by rank when we talk about SEO. Don't just think about traffic either. Rank leads to traffic if it's valuable, but more importantly, traffic helps accomplish your business goal from your site. And that's what makes content good. So if we talk about good content, we have to talk for a moment about what are the requirements of something that makes it good for content-wise. And and the first place we've got to start is focusing on our audience. Now, when I worked at an agency, um, I'm going to say a bad word here. I hope they don't bleep it out. Keyword. I forbade my team from using the word keyword. Because, because when people think of the keyword, they get so laser focused, it becomes obsessed. They become obsessed with it. Google in its algorithm nowadays, isn't necessarily thinking of a keyword. They're thinking more in terms of topic. For example, a client of mine asked me the other day, should we use the word cybersecurity or cyber security? The answer is, mm -hmm. who cares? Because Google knows it's the same thing. Uh, those of you guys who have done SEO for a while, you remember when we used to produce a page for lawyers and another page for attorneys? <laughs> right? We used to do that. No, Google knows they're synonymous. If you're in England, they might even include barrister in that. I don't know. I don't do SEO for lawyers in, in England. But the point is, let's not think in terms of the keyword. Let's think of in terms of our audience. What do our potential customers search for. And, and when, when we start to think about what makes good content and we're thinking about what our customers are searching for, this will also prevent us from making some common 